What's the difference between a violinist and a violist? Nothing, just a violinist's head's bigger. I was the first viola student in the Suzuki program in Edmonton. I immigrated to Edmonton in 1981 from England and when we arrived I'd already been playing violin for one year. My first teacher was uh, Sherry Larson and there were too many violin players and she asked uh, who wants to volunteer for the viola program. This is a cutaway model um, designed by an uh, old viola student of mine, Gerald Stanick. Gerald Stanick owned a violin shop, and so uh, a workshop, and he'd inherited it from his dad. And he kind of pulls this one off the shelf, it's got dust on it, nobody's played it for six months. Here you go, have this one. And so I grabbed it and uh, played it in, and it didn't sound so good to start with. As the years progressed, it just blossomed and changed. And then Mr. Stanick was like, oh, what? Why did I sell you that one, really? So I got lucky. There's a tremendous amount of solo repertoire for the viola, especially 20th century onwards. Uh, it's just so much out there to play. Earlier, less so. It was not the soloist's instrument. Uh, that middle harmony, those inner voices, is so key to have something that can be so versatile and bring out different characters, different flavors when needed. Easy to make fun of, yes. Uh, there's so many jokes, I don't know why. So what's uh, the difference between a trampoline and a viola? You take your shoes off to jump on a trampoline.